Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol TRTC. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis yesterday, so that's where these green line annotations are coming from. And definitely wanna get things updated here. Uh, a little tricky to do the chart because there's perspective that goes into it. What do I mean by that? Well, if you are a day trader and you bought right there or you bought right there and you wanted to sell within 15 seconds after buying, then yeah, for you, the chart's looking pretty rough. But if you care about the big picture of things, then yeah, I get it, the price is pulled back. But you know that's just over a, a shorter amount of time. When you look at multiple days, the bulls still have plenty of opportunity to build a higher base. And when you have higher bases being built over longer stretches of time, that's how those long-term uptrends are constructed. And I'm gonna be talking about things from the big picture perspective. So if I sound crazy calling something bullish, my guess would be you just had a much different strategy and perspective going into the trade. And really the best way to illustrate this is in regards to the green lines here that I talked about in yesterday's video, which are the levels of support. Uh, and to really just kind of best illustrate this now that we have more data, I wanna actually do a little house cleaning and just get rid of that line there. Sure, it still pertains, but like I said, presentation standpoint, I just want this to be as clean and easy to, to follow as possible. And you know, then I mentioned you know today's data, and the big point of today's data was right here where the price bounced right off uh, the purple line there, which is the 50 periods of moving average, but also this green line here at 26 and a half cents, which I talked about yesterday. So I'm not trying to pat myself on the back by any stretch, but I am definitely patting charts on the back. Uh, worked absolutely beautiful here at 26 and a half cents. So that truly does seem to be the, the key overall area of support, held as support, uh, you know, very nicely back here. Uh, and, you know, again, held, you know, today during the earlier portions of the time or of the day. And that was basically right, kind of the, the little launch pad there where the price, uh, you know, went there. And then from that point forward, you know, the, the bulls definitely got a nice bounce from that uh, point forward. Now, ideally speaking, you want to see the price stay up above the purple line there, the 50 period, some moving average going forward. But in the event the price does fall below it, then 26 cents and a half or 26 and a half cents is that next key level of support. And uh, just to really kind of wrap things up and illustrate the point here, let's say that the price actually does come all the way down here. I'm not saying it will, so don't throw any too many stones at me, but let's just pretend. Bounces around and head back up here. This is why I say from the big picture, the bulls are still in control because even if that were to happen, which it hasn't, but let's say it does, what would you have? Well, you'd still have a big set of bases right here. Pre previous set of bases would be right here. You picture each of these as stair steps and the stair steps would still be going in the upwards direction and that's the name of the game. So, uh, you know, overall bulls are looking fine. Yeah, it's pulled back, but that's just a shorter amount of time. Looking at the grand scheme of things, bulls still have plenty of opportunity to build the higher base and therefore continue on with the uptrend. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.